The North is bleeding as a result of the incessant killings and abduction of persons in the region. Zafra State Deputy Governor Mahadi Aliu said this during a condolence visit to Gada community where the district head and four other persons were killed. Theophilos Darafai has the story. Gada community is some kilometers from Busoda Zamfara State capital. The community was attacked by government last Wednesday, leading to the death of five persons, including a district head. The Zamfara State Deputy Governor acknowledges that those attacks on innocent citizens can be prevented if government rises up to its responsibility and channels security votes in the right direction. <laughs> Mr. Mahdi Ali is represented here by Professor Kabiri Jabaka. He comes straight with family and relations of victims of the attack. The North is profusely bleeding. Nowhere is safe in the North. Our leaders should, uh, you know, remember the fact that uh, the security force they are receiving is not to protect themselves. They are well protected. But other people, everybody is prone. This is very unfair. And uh, the excuses they are given, I can say, are devilry. They are mischievous excuses. <coughs> Saying maybe you should defend yourself. A governor that tells you to defend yourself, how do you defend yourself? Is he defending himself? In a related development, police in Zamfara secured the unconditional release of 21 Islamia school pupils abducted while traveling from Bukura to Kasina State. They were abducted when bandits blocked Gusauf on a highway and abducted travelers in five different vehicles. Armed bandit is a large number blocked Gusau for two or parallel highway and abducted unspecified number of commuters in five different vehicles. Luckily enough, the police operative succeeded in rescuing 21 kidnapped children, including two females, who were coming from a really village to Bakura local government area of Zapra State, to Kassila State for Almajri Islamia School, along with their school and name Nawali Ibrahim. The police again appeals to travelers to desist from traveling at night, as some routes within the zone are usually not safe at night. Theophilus Darufai, TVC News, Gusau.